Hi, I'm Theo Burton from Sunrise Metal. Today, I'm going to answer the top 10 questions we often get about low pressure die castings. Whether you are an engineer, product designer, or just curious about how this process works, this video will give you a clear and a simple overview. Low pressure die casting is a process where melting aluminum is pushed into the mold from the bottom using low pressure. The advantage of its method is that it fills the mold steadily, resulting in denser parts with fewer air pockets. This leads to a better mechanical properties. It's ideal for complex parts with uniform wall thickness, like car wheels or engine cylinder heads which require high strength and consistency. Compared to gravity die casting and high pressure die casting, these three methods of aluminum casting differ mainly in how the melting metal ends the mold. Gravity die casting relies on the metal's own weight to fill the mold, which is simple and effective, but limits complexity and thin walls. High pressure die casting uses high speed, high pressure to force the metal into the mold quickly, making it great for mass productions of standardized parts. Low pressure die casting, however, uses air pressure to push the metal slowly from the bottom, offering a more controlled filling process. This creates better density and mechanical properties, making it ideal for parts requiring precise structure and stable strength. Low pressure die casting works best with aluminum alloys that flow well and can handle heat treatment like A356, aluminum silicon 10 magnesium and aluminum silicon 12. These alloys not only pour well but also can undergo heat treatment, improving their strength and resistance to corrosion. A356 in particular is often used for automotive parts and industrial equipment housings due to its stable performance and good machinability. If you need a strong part that can be heat treated later, A356 is usually the go-to alloy. Low pressure die casting is widely used, especially in the automotive and the industrial sectors. Parts like car wheels, engine cylinder heads, and suspension arms, where high strength and safety are essential, are often made using this process. It's also used for aerospace parts, electric vehicle components, and industrial products like pump housing and valve bodies. If you need an aluminum part that's strong, airtight, and dense, low pressure die casting is a great choice. When designing for low pressure die casting, there are three main things to focus on. First, keep the wall thickness even, ideally between three to six millimeters if it's too thin, it won't fill the mold properly. If it's too thick, it will get the sharing issues. Areas with changing thickness should have rounded transitions. Second, make sure the draft angles are correct. Outwards need at least a 1 degree angle, and the inner walls should be 1.5 to 3 degrees. This makes it easier to remove the part from the mold and prevent surface damage. Third, pay attention to rib and fillet designs. Instead of just adding thickness, placing ribs in the right spots provides better strength. Also, adding rounded corners helps metal flow and reduces stress concentrations. One of the biggest advantages of low pressure die casting is that it creates a smooth filling process, which results in a denser part. 
This improves mechanical properties significantly. Castings made with low pressure die casting typically have better tense strength, yield strength, and fatic resistance compared to those made with gravity die casting. Plus, this casting can undergo T6 heat treatment to further enhance their strength and hardness. The production cycle of low pressure die casting isn't as fast as high pressure die casting. A typical cycle lasts about three to five minutes, depending on the part size and cooling time. While it may not be as quick as high pressure die casting, it has the advantage of longer mold life and higher yield rate. The end result is a process with fewer defects, less rework, and overall good efficiency. Yes, low pressure die casting is well suited for medium to large batch production. The molds have a long lifespan, lasting for tens of thousands of parts. It's a good choice for projects with annual production volumes ranging from thousands to hundreds of thousands of parts, such as automotive components or electric vehicle housing. For small batch productions, the mold cost might be a bit high, but for medium to large runs, it strikes a good balance between cost, efficiency, and quality. Once low pressure die casting parts are made, they usually undergo further processing. This might include CNC machining to ensure dimensional accuracy, heat treatment to improve strength, and surface treatments such as anodizing, e coating, or powder coating or painting to enhance appearance and corrosion resistance. In low pressure die casting to ensure part quality. Curing process parameters is key to achieve high quality parts in low pressure die casting. For example, filling speed shouldn't be too fast as it could cause turbulence and air pockets. The pressurization speed and holding time also need to be set correctly to ensure the metal fills the mold completely and cools evenly. The mold's cooling system design plays a crucial role in the solidification speed and the structure. In short, the metal needs to flow steadily, be pressed properly, and cool evenly for consistent high quality castings. That's it for today's top 10 questions on low pressure die casting. I hope this video helped you understand the basic better. Got more questions? Drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and follow us for more casting tips and insights. See you next time.